What's going on today, everyone? Um, this is just gonna be a quick overview of the Cub Cadet Ultima ZT1. This one's from Home Depot. I'm making this video for anybody that's on the fence about buying a similar one to this, or whether you're looking at a Toro or a John Deere. I'll tell you why I got this. Um, this was a pretty good deal at our Home Depot. My local one had it on sale for about $300 off. They originally retail for about $3,600. And with the $300 off, I bought this one for $3,300. Um, I'm really liking it so far. I got a pretty decent sized lawn to mow. Got about three to four acres total. My whole farmstead's about five, but I don't necessarily mow all that. And man, if you're looking on the internet and you're watching reviews on, on all these zero turns, you'll think if you buy one of these residential lawn mowers that it is just not going to work for you. Like you just have to spend $10,000 on a lawn mower. And I just thought that was kind of BS. So this one is technically a residential one. Everybody says don't buy the big box store um, zero turns because they're not as good. But this one I was pretty impressed with, especially comparing it to like a John Deere. And then I looked at the Toros and the Toro that I wanted was about $5,000. And I just couldn't justify spending $5,000 to mow my lawn. One of the biggest selling points of this Ultima, it does have a Kawasaki engine and it is 23 horsepower. I'm a really big believer in Kawasaki. I think they make great products. This thing sounds great. It, this sounds way better than my older uh, riding Cub Cadet that I have. I have one with the Kohler and I've had it for almost 10 years now. That's been a great mower and that's kind of a deciding factor of why I went back to Cub Cadet too is because I had a pretty good luck with my riding lawnmower. But yeah, the Kawasaki engine, I can tell already, just a huge, huge update. One other thing I really liked about this mower too was were these adjustable handles where I didn't see that on the John Deere's. It was just a straight bar. And there really, really, there really wasn't a whole lot that you could do. Another thing I really liked about this one, you take this bolt off, you can access the belt pretty easily if it flies off or something. The deck on this one is a 50 inch, seemed to be big enough. I had a 50 inch on my other lawnmower and I just didn't see a point in spending the extra money on a 54. A few hundred dollars more for four inches, not really worth it in my opinion. But like I said, you know, 20, 23 horsepower with this Kawasaki engine. Um, I like the exoskeleton design of this one versus just all the plastic that you see on a lot of the other ones like the John Deere's and like they might be nice lawnmowers but I just I thought this felt more rigid and I figured it would last the test of time a little bit more. Uh, forgive me if the audio wasn't exactly perfect with this it's a little bit windy I'm not using the best microphone for this but I'm gonna hop on this baby a little bit and then I'm gonna show you a couple things started up just do a little bit of mowing show you the job it does. So sitting on it, you have the handlebars out, the choke is right there, I'm going to give it a little bit of throttle, here's the engage for the mower, it starts right up, I'm actually going to turn that off so I can talk a little bit more, here's your brake, if you hold down the brake you just twist this knob here which is super easy to adjust your height of your deck. I'm cutting about two inches above ground right now. It's doing a pretty good job. Super simple though, guys. I mean, there's not really a whole lot to it. It's got a cup holder. I like the room around the Kawasaki engine. Everything's super easy to get at. I'm hoping this thing will last me 10 years like my other Cub Cadet. So I'll just mow a little bit and I'll let you guys take a look at the job it's doing. <laughs> turn this off so I can talk again. I'm not going to mow a whole lot. This isn't going to be the most in-depth video. I just wanted to do a quick little show for you guys if you're on the fence about buying one of these. I mean, it does pretty good. You know, I kind of let my grass go a little bit. This is actually the first time I'm mowing this year. But yeah, guys, I don't think you need to spend $10,000 on a mower. I don't think you even need to spend $5,000. This was $3,500. And it's just fine. I mean, these wheels seem like they're good shape. I know like 
in these casters on this one i believe these are oiled like the john deere's i heard are just plastic so that was one thing that kind of deterred me away this exoskeleton design is really solid i just like that you can you know like on the john deere that i grabbed you could grab this and just shake it all around i think this is going to be a good mower i'm pretty pretty happy about this one other thing i was going to show you guys too the battery is super easy to access you need to jump start it or something here's your gas tank I don't have an hour meter on mine, but I heard that you can buy those at Home Depot and they're pretty cheap. So I might be adding that. Gas tank, um, there's no fuel indicator. I'm pretty used to that though with my other one. It's not, not too bad. I mean, like I said, with my yard that I mow, it's about three to four acres. And I'm just every time I'm going to mow, I just fill it up and I never really have to worry about it. I, I never really run out of gas. So it's actually perfect for my situation that I got. Oh, one other thing. You don't see this on any of the other ones, but they do have headlights on this if you're going to do a little bit of mowing at night. Now, there's no switch for that. When you turn this mower on, they're just on all the time, so you never even have to worry about it. It's kind of nice. Just a little, little bonus. So just in a combination with the headlights, with the adjustable handlebars, um, good quality cast, casters, excellent Kawasaki engine. That's ultimately why I went with this and not like a John Deere or a Toro and the money. I just couldn't beat it. I didn't think it could be beat. So hopefully this helped out with your decision, guys. Um, Home Depot did deliver, deliver this to my house. I live about 45 minutes away from Home Depot. They delivered it for 20 bucks. I think if you're closer than that, they'll do it for free. But for 20 bucks, it wasn't worth it for me to run home and uh, grab my trailer, burn up my gas. It probably would have cost me $20 just in gas to go get the thing let alone my time. So I said, sure, bring it out. I purchased this on Thursday. Today is a Saturday. They brought it out. So, I mean, they got me in pretty dang quickly. Really happy with this decision. Way better than my riding lawnmower, even though that served me good. I'm hoping this will last me 10 years. I'm going to try to take care of it. going to try to do the oil changes on it every single year. You guys have any questions about this lawnmower? I'm gonna be I'm gonna be uh, using it some more around my yard here. Um, make sure to leave them down in the comments section. I'll try to answer them. I'm gonna get some more hands-on experience with this. I've only uh, ridden this thing for about an hour. Um, I love it so far. It's really quick. I feel like I can mow my lawn in about half the time of that riding lawnmower. So if you want to see more content like this, um, I like to do some of this farm stuff. I like to do the tractor reviews. Um, I kind of want to do a skidoo review on my summit. I've done a four wheeler review. If you want to see more content about this mower or anything else, just let me know. Um, I can make some shorts on it too. Sometimes it's kind of nice to just have those minute long videos. Just wanted to do a quick little video for you guys. Try to get about eight minutes in, in here. I think I covered pretty much everything you need to know. But like I said, leave those comments. Oh, one more thing I'm going to add. If you want to move this thing in neutral, you just pull these pins back on both sides if you need to move it around your garage or whatever. It's the last thing I could think of. I think that should be everything you guys need to know about the Ultima ZT1 with the 50-inch deck. Make sure you like and subscribe for more content just like this.